Pathfinder Kingmaker is a fantastic game. I've actually had it since it released in late 2018. Every time I tried to play it though, I'd wind up frustrated, because the minion gameplay starts out very poorly. This would result in me getting fed up and quitting early. I must have started and quit this game at least five times, but this year I finally resolved to just suffer through it until the animate dead spell and see what happens. And suffer I did. When you start as a herald called the cleric, which is a class specifically designed for summoning, your level 1 summon monster spell will give you one hopelessly pathetic summoned wolf to enjoy for one round, because you're level 1 and it lasts for one round per level. What this means is that your wolf will spawn in, attempt to bite the enemy and probably miss, then promptly poof into thin air. To make things worse, when casting the spell your character decides to hold his breath for a solid 5 seconds or something before finally releasing the spell. During this dramatic and pointless pause, your spell can be interrupted and lost. While you've been mucking around for all this time, staring at your clenched fist, trying to get your hopeless excuse for a wolf out in the field so it can attack and miss, everyone else in the party has been pulling their weight. In fact, by the time your wolf shows up, the enemy has probably already been dispatched by the party's fighter. All have all died while you were busy being the fifth wheel, and now it's your turn to die. This is why I quit the game so many times, but this time around I decided that my character was just going to be an utter jerk for at least 5 levels, so I just did my best to ignore it until I got animate dead. The good news is that things do improve once you finally get animate dead. A squad of badass skeletons will be spawned and they'll beat the shit out of your enemies. The issue is, as always, these skeletons are on a timer and will poof into thin air after a pretty brief period of time. It's a timer of one round per level again, and by the time you get animate dead I think you're around level 5, so it's 5 rounds. I might be wrong on that. You can use the extend spell metamagic feat to make them persist a little longer, but it's still nothing that could be considered permanent. But at least at this point you can begin to enjoy the game as a necromancer. Later on you can get the create dead spell, which lets you choose between a grave knight or a guardian armor. The Grave Knight looks pretty much the same as the Skeletons from Animate Dead, but it is of course stronger. The Guardian Armor looks like a Skeleton in full plate, and is considerably tankier. Both are very nice minions, but the spell is quite high level, so you won't have many uses of it. This is pretty much the extent of the Necromancy in the game. Cleric is a better option for Necromancy than Wizard because you'll get Animate Dead at spell level 3 instead of 4 so you'll be able to get it sooner and cast it more often. Additionally, if you go for the Herald Caller Cleric, you'll get special feats that make minions better. Augment Summoning will grant a plus 4 to the strength and constitution of your summons. Later on, Superior Summoning will give you one extra creature whenever you cast a spell that conjures multiple creatures, like Animate Dead. From this game you're able to get very large swarms of useful, yet temporary skeletons. Now we come to the scoring. For plentiful minions it gets full points. You can have a lot of skeletons, lots of one hit doggos, etc. None of them are permanent though, so zero points for permanent minions. Minion diversity is alright, but not in the field of necromancy. You can just get skeletons that all look the same, and one of them wears armor. So two points, but I'm feeling slightly generous so I'll increase the diversity score to four because of the sad doggos, crazy frogs, elementals, and various other non-undead minions that the game offers. Useful minions is square in the middle, because although the minions are moderately useful once you're high enough level, you'll still have to suffer through so much time of being utterly useless and feeling like an idiot until you get your skeletons and better summons. And even then they're all on this punishing round timer, so the usefulness is limited by that as well. So there you have it. As a minions game, I think it's quite a bad one. It does a lot of things that I hate and that's always annoyed me about summoning in games. I do not recommend this as a good minions game, but it is a fantastic game in its other aspects. It's got a superb story, it's well polished, and it's also just a lot of fun. The people who made the game have clearly poured a lot of love into it. It follows the Pathfinder rules very closely. And anyone who loves this type of game is going to absolutely love this but it's not a game that I can recommend for its necromancy or its minions. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. 
I've got more necromancy content coming your way.